Hi, it's Jamie here. Uh, I've just got a quick video today. I am going to be installing OSX Tiger on uh, my PowerMac G4 MDD. So, uh, without further ado, here we go. I've already put the disk in the drive, so I'm just going to go ahead and boot up the machine. Okay, it's powering up. So I'm going to hold down the Option key on the keyboard. So it uh, boots up from the CD. Oh well, so I get a boot menu anyway. Then I can boot from the CD. Now these machines are um, unfortunately known, or well, the MDD series, I think um, the specific model I have, are unfortunately known as the uh, wind tunnel series because they have such a noisy power supply. You can probably hear it in the background. Uh, so that's what the whirring noise is. So anyway, so my uh, startup disk has come up. Mac OS X install CD, just got to wait for it to finish detecting all of the installation drives. I've got uh, Panther Server on here at the moment, I believe. Um, so it just takes maybe about 30 seconds or so to, uh, to detect uh, all of the bootable devices that are normally good to go. There we go. Normally I have Twitter and that on this screen, but uh, I'm just plugged it into the G4 for the time being, so there we go. Right, let's boot. I haven't actually tried this CD out yet. I have just burnt it and I got it legally, not illegally, I got it legally um, from the Mac Dev Center. So, here we go. Oh, that's interesting. So, unfortunately, it decided not to boot the first time. I'm going to try holding C this time, C for CD, so hopefully it will. Um, decide to boot this time. These things are quite slow actually um, starting up for the first time. Um, well not first time but any time. Um, it looks a bit blue to me the screen on the camera. It's actually light grey if you're wondering. Right. That's quite interesting. Valid memory access. So believe it or not, it turns out I actually have a faulty CD drive is what's causing the problem. Um, so I'm just going to replace that um, and I'll probably end up using my um, USB super drive that I used for my MacBook Pro. So we'll see how it goes. So now to sort of fix the problem, at least for the time being anyway, um, I'm just using my MacBook Pro's external super drive because I put an OptiBay in it. Um, so hopefully this should work. We'll see. Right, so I booted the machine again. Um, it's come up now, so uh, I'll give it a try. Let's see what happens. Oh, okay. We have got the Apple. Um, now if I'm correct, I did do this before, I think, for Leopard when I did have it on here, but it was just unbearably slow. Um, I took it off, so I put it back to uh, Panther, the, what the the discs that came with it were, because this is a, um, I don't actually think they were the discs that, no, I think the, the discs that came with it were Jaguar, but, um, or Jaguar, but, uh, we'll see. It's taking a long time to actually get the, uh, cog wheel up, though, um, because I think it, it just does not like loading a DVD over USB 1, because it is unbearably slow. Um, so what I'll do is I'll leave this going and, and I'll come back, well, when it's loaded. Now this is pretty interesting, it's just done this after um, a few minutes of loading. The CD is still spinning quite fast in the drive. Um, I'm not really entirely sure what's up with this. Um, I'm pretty sure I downloaded a, well, either PowerPC or Universal binary of it. I don't actually think, um, if I'm correct, the only Universal binaries of Tiger were the server versions um, and I don't think 10.4.3, the version that's on this disk is um, an Intel version because I, I think the first Intel version was 10.4.6 or 4 I'm, I'm just guessing um, so anyway I'll put up another video when I seem to have found a remedy to, the, uh, to, to this problem um, that's interesting, I might just end up putting Leopard back on it again um, 
although I'm going to have a problem because I don't have any double layer discs to burn out a copy of it and I don't have a retail copy. Um, so the first uh, retail copy of OS X I bought was uh, Snow Leopard, funnily enough. Um, I just used a friend's when I was installing it previously on here, so anyway, I will get back when I have an update to this. Thanks for watching.